previously. The only thing I'm concerned about is how wide it is. But I ain't never seen these seats before. And these things are nice. It's up YouTube it's your boy Cat Loco. this is day two at the yard and today I came for those seats so we're back at that uh, 2009 VW CC I believe it's a Passat CC but I got the back seats out um it's pretty much the same as the uh, Pontiac G6 whereas hopefully his lighter comes on you just pop it up put your back and lift out now this side was easy like both sides is easy to move up but then you have these uh clips right here and that's the part where you need to give it some force push it back and lift up and it'll come out of this little hook right there Let's see if i can show you yeah it's like a little piece of metal Right here, you got to unhook it from. So we got the bottom back out. The one issue I'm having right now is the back, the back seat, the back of the back seat. <laughs> so you have this little lever here, and normally there's like a bracket. Let me see if I can turn this light on better. So normally. There's like a plastic piece with some bolts, um, like a bolt here, bolt in the middle, and a bolt on the other side. But this is like solid metal. I don't really see no bracket. <laughs> this is like the trunk. That firewall part, like the, I guess you call it package tray. There's no bracket to unbolt. So, this is like the freaking car. So the only thing I see is that right there. And there is no bolts um, around where this pin goes into the chair. So I don't exactly know how this car, how these come in there. If they, if you can like push it over and get the pin out. Um, I didn't bring a saws out today. Cause I could just cut this and say fuck it. <laughs> Cause I mean, we're gonna have to customize these seats anyway to fit in a gully. So I might have to look on the internet. <clears throat> so I might have to go on YouTube and see if I find any videos. Cause the only videos I've seen were people taking out the bottom part and not the top. <laughs> and that's probably the reason why. Because there is no, I mean, this is the car. There's no bracket. It's all metal. And then as far as the front seats, um, I couldn't find any videos on this. So if you're trying to re remove the front seats of a, I wanna say 2009, 2012, might be more years, Volkswagen Passat CC. I use my old jump box method. And the wires you need, once you uh, take everything apart, all you need is this, they said it's like red and yellow, but it looks pink and yellow to me, but it's red and yellow, and then this thick brown wire. You also have like this, uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like pink and blue or red and blue, it's probably red and blue. And then you also have this other one, which is like, red and green red with green stripe or pink and green whatever you want to call it um so i just hooked that up to my jump box here let me show you real quick because i took the um the back out already because those were covered up where the bolt goes here 
and here. And <laughs> I came here yesterday, uh, if you've seen the video with New York in your city, I looked at these bolts and I know something was wrong because it's not your ordinary. That is not spline or a six point spline. That's a 12 point spline. which is also known as triple square <laughs> spline, which is very common with uh, German European cars. And you know, this is a Chevy channel, mainly LS swap channel. And we don't really have these. So I had to go to the one store in KC that actually sold triple square spline sockets. Harbor Freight doesn't even sell this. So I picked up a pack of the clutch and what you need is a, I think it's S2 M10 triple square spline. You can see what it looks like. It has way more points. So, yeah, I got a, uh, I think it's a 12 pack, comes from Clutch. Nor I bought it from Northern Tool. You, you might not have one where you're located. Um, Amazon sells them. I bought one from Amazon too, but I couldn't wait. I want to get these seats as soon as possible. And I knew no one's going to be carrying around triple squared <laughs> spline sockets in their back. Actually, I um, cut these wires yesterday while I was out here because I wanted to see what I was working with and see what I needed. So like I said, um, your ground is the brown wire and then your positive is just like um, Yellow and red, yellow and pink wire. Uh, turn my box on, I still got a lot of power. Make sure this is solid green, pressing the button. And most jump boxes work that way. And then we're gonna come to the switch. And because this is a jump box, I don't get the continuous uh, power. So I get, I get a few seconds. I could use my uh, power tool battery. Hit the switch. I'll probably do it in the passenger side because it is both front power, passenger and driver seats. Okay, so we only need to get to the front two bolts right here and then right there. Um, I'm not going to bore you on taking this out, but I got my Steelman Pro long handle ratchet today. Uh, they don't make those anymore, but I love them. So, you got your 10 millimeter triple square spline socket goes in there and then we'll ratchet it off see this out this is we working with you can see someone like their uh their woods and their lighter that's why people can't find the lighter because should be falling <laughs> between the seats and everywhere else but uh yeah they smoking that good in here but as far as the wires so normally i would get to the wires from the rear pause I, I normally get the wires like here the harness so you want to get the wires that comes out of the floor now i cut it as short as possible i mean you, like you could just unplug those connections here but sometimes with the seat in the way you can't really get to it especially no power that's why i need that um i cut the wires coming out the carpet i try and figure out what the power wires were um, I had multiple choices because like I got a black wire here. I got a brown. I figured these two were More likely to the uh, ground wires and then the thicker one as you can see the thickest wire Was this uh, red and green? Oh, sorry This uh, red and yellow <clears throat> Pink and yellow looking wire 
was the thickest one because you had this other pinky and blue, red and blue wire here. That's probably close to the thickness, but this one was a little thicker. Normally your power wire is going to be a thicker gauge wire, so you just figure out the ground. But yeah, that seat's out. Um, I haven't looked on that side yet, um, but I did see it is a power seat because I can just slide it forward. Let's see if we can get this one out. But yeah, I really like this freaking chair. It looks really good. Um, hopefully it fits in a G body, it should. It's, I feel like it's uh, narrower than the Bonneville seat, but I can really see that in a Mustang too, like a Mustang Camaro. The only little damage to the seat, which I don't even really care about, is uh, right there. That's just from people squeezing in and out of the car over and over again. But honestly, I would just rock it like that until we decide, you know, what scheme we going with. I might, I'm really going for red and black, so it's either going to stay black, red stitch, or I might keep the black and gray stitch going on but it is heated seats you got your multi-position controls on the side and then of course you know we'll have to modify the rails and in the back seat you have a cup holders inside the seat which i really like and you can slide the little compartment to seal it up it also has like a pull down armrest on the back side This right here. Up. There you go. I really like that. So you have the armrest and then you have the cup holders underneath. And look like you have enough space almost with cups in there, but I could be wrong. See, I'm ready to cut myself. On the side, you can pretty much see where I start off when I look at these cars. So right there, right away. This is going into the uh, carpet. So I'm gonna cut this back, export, expose those wires, and then see what we have left. Snip the wires, and look like it's the same deal right here um, as the other side. You have that like red and yellow, pink and yellow wire, and then you get the brown wire. So I'm just gonna connect, strip this back, and then put the uh, jump pack on this and move the seat forward and then we'll move it back again okay we're back um i use my little cheap harbor freight wire stripper um i put it in 10 gauge it was really 12 gauge i think no it might have been 10 gauge i mean turn that on hit my little button let's try the recruit the back seat or the tilt I should say all right all right so we got the uh, back out got that bolt out got that side out I had to tilt the seat forward just because I'm using this long extension. It's not needed, but I feel like I can get more leverage, more torque on it. So we're going to push this back and get the front out. The bolts right here, but so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this bolt here, and that bolt right there, and we can pop these out. And I'm probably gonna take these to my truck and figure out how to get that that back part out. So all I'm gonna do is drop this back and take it out like an L. 
um, to get it out. It's not hard. You got plenty of space. Push it back, swing it out. So now I got both seats out. This one is pretty much almost pristine. No type of uh, wear and tear, no rips. That can go straight in the car. And we just gotta tackle this. Um, I may just come back with a sawzall. Honestly, if I can't figure out how this little pin comes out, that's in the seat. Plus, I don't even know how long that pin is. If it stops here, if it goes all the way through. So, that's gonna be an issue. Because I don't even see like a little slot for that to like come out of. I have no clue. But yeah, so that's our last battle with the seats. Anyway, that's how you take seats out of a 2009. Volkswagen Passat CC, um, especially for if you're doing a seat swap. Obviously, if you're doing this for, you just need new seats because of the cost. Um, this does pull out on both sides and you can just disconnect the clips. That's your seat harness right there. Just push in and pull out. But like I said, I'm not keeping these clips because I can't use them in old school. But all your clips, or your plugs right here. Push the clip in, pull it out. And then just swap your stock seat. One eternity later. Solid hour. And I cannot figure out how the fuck this back seat came off because there is no groove for it to come out here. Nobody in YouTube <laughs> or the fucking internet seems to have how to take this back piece out. They'll tell you how to take the cushion out, which a 10 year old can do that. And then this car is taunting me with a friggin' sawzall blade in this motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry for the cursing, but it's the confusion or the frustration of taking out this back seat because I've taken out many seats. And like there's no bracket underneath like on like a G6 or a lot of Pontiacs you know you have those screws along this back side and it's all metal all the way down so the only screw I didn't take out was right here so if you have one of these cars this little Torx right there that just dropped <clears throat> fits in right here so I took out the torque screw out of there and as you can see there looks like be an opening where this thing come forward that side does not though but let me see if I can pull this chair up and if it'll slide out of there and I'm assuming it's gonna come out of this pin that's right there. Give me a sec. And as you can see, this little pin right here comes out of the chair. And I put it back on the chair. And then there are your hooks. So this is the only thing holding in that back seat is this little screw that goes right here. So you just need a little Torx. I don't know which bit this is. So T30. So yeah, so you need a T30. I believe that's a 30. Yep. So you need a T30 Torx bit to get that uh, bolt out, the little screw out. And I'll find it once I take it off. But let's go on the other side. There's the back seat. We didn't have to get the cells off.
There you go, a little effort. I don't know if I need this, but if I'm buying a chair, taking this little piece. Now I'll probably have to make a bracket um, for that to fit in my car. But yeah, all you guys fighting with the um, the back panel, the back headrest part. All it is is one bolt, a T30, right here. So as always, remember to like, comment, definitely subscribe, share if you want. Peace.